So hey guys, welcome to Other from Video, and today I want to talk a little bit about the newly reworked Zephyr because, well, she's quite good. So the biggest change for me by far is the fact that you can now hold one which will make you hover and it will drain at base 5 energy per second but you can reduce this with power duration and power efficiency. You don't have to hold it all the time though you just have to hold it for a little bit once you're in the air and it will start hovering. Now this is huge because of many things. Number one you can get access to some insane damage reduction through things like aviator. Number two you're just harder to hit because you're kind of out of the way of the enemies and when you combine that with with the aviator buff and her third ability you essentially become immortal while in the air and number three they added a bit of a bonus to her passive so now when you're in the air you get bonus crit chance. Now this produces some insane results in the simulacrum because everything is controlled but you can still do some serious damage and become pretty much immortal in the normal game as well. It of course works much better in endless missions, in defense for example you can just hover around a cryopod and in survival the only thing you have to worry about is not hovering too high so you can still vacuum life support from the ground. But all the buffs made her pretty good in normal missions as well. Dive Bomb for example now does insanely more damage, it went from 500 to 4500 thousand at maximum rank. Airburst has been turned into a bit of a vortex and her tornadoes just kind of behave better overall. Now for the setup I actually didn't invest any forma into it at all and I think it turned out pretty okay. You can make it better if you add one for mine, you swap Cunning Drift for a better range mod, but I think it's pretty good as it is. So for the aura we're gonna run Aerodynamic and we're gonna combine that with Aviator to get some mad damage reduction while we're hovering. This in combination with everything else makes you pretty much unkillable. Then we have Prime Continuity and Narrow Minded to bump up the duration. This helps your 3 or Turbulence which is your defensive ability but it also reduces the drain on hovering. Then to make up for the lost range from Narrow Minded we're gonna run Cunning Drift and stretch and this is mainly for turbulence because if you have too little range you're gonna start to get hit because the turbulence isn't big enough and if you have enough range you can actually cover your sentinel with it as well. Then since Zephyr Prime comes with the depolarity I kind of wanted to fill it with something and in the end I end up going with Vigilante Vigor to get an extra point towards the set bonus so I have a 20% chance to enhance a crit from a primary but the shield recharge is actually not too bad because you only get hit every now and then so having extra shield recharge is actually nice. With the rest of the set by the way being on my sentinel is a weapon now after this we want to juice up our efficiency so we're gonna run streamline and fleeting expertise you can either have these two ranks from the top or maxed out it doesn't make that big of a difference and we're gonna top it off with brand flow for a massive energy reserve for my main weapon i'm running the kuva chakra with internal bleeding and hunter munitions even though they don't stack because i like how reliable the slash procs are then for your secondary there is a neat little exos mod you can use which is energizing shot which allows you to shoot energy orbs to pick them up but it only works you can see on the mod card with weapons that don't do AoE. It's still pretty great though especially when you're hovering a little bit too high so your vacuum doesn't reach the ground to pick up the energy orbs or you're in a big room and you don't want to float all over the place. This was a really good rework because it basically took what Zephyr already was and made it better and it added this whole hovering thing which is great as well. It's just great, it has a little bit of everything, it's fun to play, it does good damage because of the hovering buff, it has great defense because of the aviator stacking and it has a lot of crowd control thanks to tornadoes too. So yeah, you should definitely try out the new Zephyr, she's pretty damn cool. And that's kind of all I wanted to say, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.